Hey, it's Pony, and today I'm be making a tutorial on how to download and install mods, texture packs, skin packs, and maps for Minecraft Xbox. And this is going to be using an application called MC Add-ons Manager. I had already made a tutorial on how to do this, but they have updated the app and some people were confused. So I wanted to make an updated version. I will also go over a few different ways of how you can fix it. But first, let me show you how you get it. So to get it, you can press the guide button and, and go down here where it says store. And this will take you to the store or you could also just press Y and search for it. So once you're in the store, uh, you could go here where it says search. And here you could type in MC space and then add-ons manager. And this one should pop up. And this one is completely free. The old method was using my files explorer, but that one costs money. This one is completely free. And the creator of this application is Os Osiley. I'll leave all his links in the description. If you guys have any problems, you could just report it to him. He so once you install this application, the next thing you want to do is download uh, whatever map or mod or anything that you want. Uh, to do that, you go to the Microsoft Edge. And here you can go to any website that you choose. Uh, the one I'm going to be using is MCPDL since they have mods, maps, uh, skins, and texture packs. Uh, also, one thing that I get asked frequently is if uh, Java mods will work with this. They do not work with this. So if you're trying to install a Java mod, it will not work. This only works with uh, mods, maps, skins, or texture packs that were made for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So anything on this page will be compatible with Xbox. But if it was made for Java, it will not work at all. And I will also leave a, a few other websites in the description that you can use to download uh, mods. But if you are using mcpdl.com, what you could do is just go down here and look for anything that you like. Or you could also just search for any specific mod that you want. Uh, they might have it. And for this tutorial, uh, just as an example, I'll be downloading and installing uh, this add-on, the 3D tools and items. Uh, so if I wanted this add-on, all I would have to do is just click on it. And then here it will show me the creator and it will also give me a, some an explanation and some information about the add-on. Also, if you're having an issue with a specific add-on, it's better to ask the original creator. Uh, they will be able to help you more if it's not working. But if you are downloading an add-on from MCPDL, usually the downloads are at the bottom. So you can just keep going down here. It will just give you some information and screenshots of the add-on. And if you keep going down, you will find the download links. This one only has one link. Uh, sometimes they'll have more than one or usually it has a behavior pack and a resource pack. Some of them do have two different downloads. So if they do have a behavior pack and their resource pack, you want to make sure you download both of them or it might not work correctly. Uh, but this one only requires one. So this one, all I have to do is download this. So if I click on it, this one was a direct download link. So all I have to do is just click here where it says save. Uh, but sometimes, they, sometimes since these are completely free, sometimes they will take you to a, to a different website. Uh, where there might be ads. If if you do get an ad, uh, just, you just want to skip it. And this does support M .mc pack files, MC add-on files, and .zip files, and MC worlds. So it doesn't really matter what type of file it is, this should support it. So once you have your mod or texture pack or whatever you're downloading, uh, you, next what you want to do is open up MC add-ons manager. And once you have this open, it will show you a list of all your worlds, uh, your resource packs, and behavior packs that you have installed. But to install the add-on, what you have to do is go up here where it says import. And this will take you to your downloads folder inside of your Xbox. Here you can find the file that you just downloaded. Uh, this is the one I just downloaded right now, the 3D tools and items. To install it, all you have to do is just click on it and this will do all the work for you. It makes it really simple. And once it finishes, this usually only takes a few seconds, but sometimes it might take a few minutes depending on how big the file is. So if you download a, an add-on that is really big, uh, this might take a few minutes to install. But usually it only takes a few seconds and it's going to ask you if you want to delete the source pack file uh this is just a file that you downloaded right now but since it's already installed you don't need it anymore so you can just click yes to delete it but if you want to keep it as a backup you can click no and this will keep the file but i'm going to click yes and so i'm not going to use it anymore and the one i downloaded was just a resource pack so this is the one i just installed and let me show you something important that you have to do uh, right after you install anything uh, it doesn't matter what it is a resource or a behavior pack or skin or map is that you have to quit out of your game before you play with it. So before you start Minecraft again, uh, you want to make sure you quit out of it first. So you just hover over the game, click the start button, and then hit quit. If you do not quit out of your game first, uh, it will not show the mod. So you want to make sure you quit out of it first. And let me show you how to activate it. So once you load it into your game to activate your mod, uh, all you have to do is go here where it says play. 
and then you could either install it to a new world or you could or you could activate it on an already existing world so to activate it, all i have to do is go here click on this then depending what you download it if it was a resource pack or a behavior pack or if it was both of them uh, you want to you want to activate both of them uh, the one i downloaded was only a resource pack so all, I, so all i have to do is go here where it says resource packs go here where it says my packs and look for the one that i just downloaded so this is the one that i just downloaded so all i have to do is click activate and now this one will already be activated on my world and that's all i have to do for this one but like i said if you if you had to download a behavior pack you want to you also want to activate that and now let me show you how to install a skin pack and for this tutorial again i'll be using mcpdl uh, but like i said it could be from any website as long as the skins are made for minecraft bedrock this should work fine uh, so if you are using mcpdl you want to go here where it says skins and then here where it says skin packs and for this tutorial i'll be downloading this one the pixel core studios fantastic builder skin pack so if i wanted this one i just click on it and here it will show me the creator some information about the skins and a preview and to download it just go down and look for the download link so for this one uh, all i have to do is just click here where it says fantastic builders uh, mc pack and then all you have to do is just click here where it says save and that's pretty much it then you go back to mc add-ons manager and to install this it's pretty much the exact same method as the other one uh, but there is an extra step you have to take to get the skin packs to work on xbox uh, and i'll show you that right now so to so to install them all you have to do is go here where it says import and then this is the one i just down the skin packs i just downloaded right now so all i have to do is just click on it and this will install it then it's going to ask me if i want to delete it i'm just going to click yes and let me show you how to get the skin packs to work on xbox since i never really went over this uh so to do that uh, first you want to quit out your game if you had it open and then you want to load it up and once the game loads up uh, the skins will not be showing up uh, you have to take an extra step and this is not a problem with the mc add-ons manager this is a problem with uh, the way that minecraft xbox works so to get the skin packs to show up what you have to do is hit the guide button and sign out of your profile once you sign out uh, what you want to do is just sign back in and the game will load load up again and once it loads back up completely again uh your your custom skin will show up and if you go here where it says profile and then you go to edit character and then you go here where it says own all the skin packs that you downloaded will be here this these are skins that i've downloaded from mcpdl and these are the ones i just downloaded right now so i get to equip this one and Here's a few more that I downloaded. The only issue with skins on Minecraft Xbox is that you will have to do that step every time you quit out of your game. So, so if you quit out of the game and then you open it up again, uh, your skins will not be showing up. So all you would have to do is just load up the game and sign out and sign back in. You do not have to install them again. They are already installed. All you have to do is just sign out and sign back in once you load the game. Now let me show you how to install texture packs. Uh, first you want to uh, look for one that you want to download i'm going for this example i'm going to be using this one the eight by eight personal pack so i just click on it and here will show me the creator and give me some information about it then what you want to do is just look for the download link it's always at the bottom and and then here you will find the download link so sometimes there'll be two links uh, this one has one where you can support them this one will probably have an ad or there's also a direct download link uh, I'm, going, I'm just going to click on the direct download link to make this quick And this one takes me to Mediafire, so I just click on that. Uh, if you if it does take you to Mediafire, then all you have to do is just click here where it says download. And you might get a pop-up. Uh, you just want to close this. And then just click here where it says save. Once you download the texture pack, then you want to go back to MC Add-ons Manager. Once you have MC Add-ons Manager open, uh, to install it, it's pretty much the exact same method. You go up here where it says import then all you have to do is just click on your texture pack and this will install it for you but there is one extra step that you can take and i'll show you what it is right now then you get this message if you want to delete i'm going to delete it since i'm not going to need it anymore and let me show you how to use your texture pack globally that way you can use it on realms or servers uh, so to do that what you want to do is go to your resource packs and look for the texture pack that you downloaded 
Uh, this is the one I just downloaded right now. So all you have to do is click on it and go up here where it says use globally. You will get this message letting you know that this texture pack will be used twice. So it will take up double the space, but it usually doesn't take up that much space. So it won't really make that big of a difference. So, so if you do want to use it globally, just click here where it says yes. And then you just wait a few seconds for this to install. And this will allow you to use this on your global resource packs. But if you want to remove it from your global resource pack, all you have to do is just click on it again and go click here where it says disable global. But once you do that, let me show you how to activate it inside of your game. So like I said, first, the first thing you want to do is quit out of your Minecraft. So go hover over your game, click start, and then hit quit if you had it open. So if you want to activate it as a global resource pack, you go here where it says settings. Then go down here where it says global resource packs. And then go here where it says my packs and it will show you the packs that you have installed in your global resources uh, so this is the one i just downloaded all i have to do is go here and then click where it says activate and this will activate it and that's pretty much all you have to do now let me show you how it looks inside of a world and once my once your world loads the texture pack should be applied uh, this one did apply the texture pack that i just downloaded right now and that's pretty much it. That's all you really have to do. And I also usually get asked about shaders. Uh, shaders are a bit more complicated since they're usually they're usually made for a specific device. So sometimes if it's made for, for a mobile device, it will not work on Xbox. So most shaders are not compatible with Xbox and, and Minecraft also switched its render engine. Uh, so the older shaders uh, will not work on the newer version. So that's so if you are trying to install a shader, uh, you might have a lot of issues with that. So I will not go over that. But if you guys do have any questions or any issues, uh, just let me know and I will try and help you.